Hi everyone, I'm James L. Parker. I'm an author and a retired military veteran. And welcome to Deliverance Through Open and Honest Communication. You see this book right here? I believe God inspired me to write this book. And when I say that God inspired me to write this book, I know what you're saying. How do you know God? inspired you to write that book. Well, first of all, let me put a little disclaimer in. I am definitely not that person that claims to hear everything from God. I'm definitely not that person, you know, the type that, you know, if they see two leaves falling from a tree simultaneously, they feel that that's a sign from God. So they must act. I'm not that guy. But in this particular situation, I am the person who I thank God that I listened to what he had told me to do. And when he had given me an opportunity to sit down and write this book. Now, the reason why I think God allowed me to write this book is because he knows that I have a, a passion for helping out and understand men to help them in their mental emotional, and spiritual health. Now, this book right here contains short topics designed for that purpose through open and honest conversation. You see, the enemy, and when I say the enemy, I mean the devil. The devil does not like when men come together with open and honest conversation. And I'll tell you why. It's because when we come together, and women too, but I can only speak from the male perspective, the enemy knows that there's power in your words. There's deliverance power in your words. Now, he knows that when you get together, that deliverance begin. So, therefore, what he tries to do is he tries to keep you isolated in your mind. Put you on an island and make you think, hey, it's only you. And he tell you things like this. Oh, man, don't you share that with anybody. That struggle or whatever you're going through. Because if you share that, they're going to think that you are strange. Or maybe weak. Or maybe your faith is not as strong as someone else. But you know what I say to that? The devil is a liar. I need you to know that. And as I indicated, he knows that when we talk through prayer, deliverance happens. So the key to being delivered through open and honest conversation is to first hear me, pray, and invite God into the conversation. And when you invite God into the conversation, Deliverance will begin. Healing will become, begin. Remember that key. So one of the stories that I wrote in this book right here, this book, is I entitled it Team Mourners versus Team Compassion. You see, men, most men love teams. Basketball, football, baseball, you name it. We love to identify with those teams, whether it's family, historical, or whatever. We'll ride and die with that team, win or lose, because it's something about that team that speaks to us. So in this particular uh, chapter, it's about my father. And I think this story would be very relevant to a lot of people. So my father had not been in my life for the first 34 years. Didn't know anything about him. Thought he was dead, deceased. I didn't know. So as a child, and I was growing up, seeing other people with their fathers, there was one question that lingered in my mind. Who am I? Who is James? Or who would James be as a man? I didn't know. Now, my family 
was able to answer a lot of questions for me. And they were able to give me a lot of things. Not materialistic, but definitely a lot of love. So I had that question. I carried that question all through my life. Nobody knew it except me and God. So let's fast forward a little bit. I'm a grown man. I'm an adult. One day, my family and I were at church. And the choir began to sing a song. And the song was something like, God has always been there for me. He has never failed. And he will never fail you. And at that point, God, I would say, I heard a voice say, I'm going to show you something. Of course, I ignored that voice, that thought. But then I something broke in me. I began to cry uncontrollably. I wanted to stop, but I couldn't. I was crying so uncontrollably. And being one that did not want to show emotion, I tried desperately to stop. But I couldn't. People getting to approach me and say, hey, brother, are you okay? It's going to be all right. They started handing me tissues. Even my kids who were baby at uh, small at the time. It's like, dad, are you okay? And within my head, I was telling myself, James, stop. Get yourself together. But I just couldn't do it. But remember, the thought, the voice that said to me that day, I'm going to show you something. So that day concluded. Let's fast forward to the next day. Now, I was in the Navy at that time. And so my ship was about to get underway to perform an operation, some operations or conduct. And as I sat at my desk, my phone rang in my office. And my sister said, James, I got something to tell you. It's like, what is it? She said, I found our father. And I was like, what? She said, yes, and he wants to talk to you. So very reluctantly, I took the number and I said, I'll call. So it took a few weeks before I made that phone call because I was angry, confused, upset, didn't want to talk to him. Where were you at the first 34 years of my life? So I finally got up the courage to talk. I made a phone call. And what was so strange, as I spoke to him, I could hear my voice on the other net line. It was as a door I was speaking to myself because our voices sounded identical. So we talked and agreed to kind of meet and once I returned. But during that time and between that time when we returned, my emotions was all over the place, you know. And thank God, God had placed somebody in my life who was able to have an open and honest conversation with me, who shared with me some struggles that he had went through, some things in life that he had faced. But he was able to overcome them, and he showed me how through Jesus. So as I returned, I was able and to meet my father, and we'll begin uh, to build some type of uh, relationship. But none of that would have been possible if I, or if God had not sent to me somebody who was capable and who was open enough, who was willing enough to have an open and honest conversation with me. By him doing that, it helped me with my mental, my emotional, and my spiritual strength that I desperately needed at that time. So, once again, that's the reason why I believe God gave me this book to help people who are struggling mentally, emotionally, and spiritually by having an honest and open conversation. Thank you for listening. Be blessed.